This footage was recorded during market day in the Department of Guatemala. What's up, Wish? How are Me llamo Claudia Tatiana, and I am from Chicago City, serving in Peace Corps, Guatemala, El Quiche. Why did I join the Peace Corps? A desire in my heart to come and serve the people. And also as a Latina, first generation from the U.S., I wanted to take this experience and share my culture with the Guatemalans, and also taking it back home to share it in my community, a learning experience. I'm gonna talk about loneliness. <laughs> so, <laughs> I felt lonely because it took time to start our work as a health promoter, like thinking as a little bit of a to go out to the community and work. And also, it takes time to know the people in the community and my family, like, I miss having that family interaction. I come from a house of eight people where we're all screaming and the people were working, the family's working. But when I did, I stepped out of my comfort zone because I would just have these emotional breakdowns like, ah, hmm, ah. And it's just, it's not cool, but it's okay. It's okay to feel lonely. It's okay to feel homesickness. I appreciated my family a lot more. And it's Peace Corps, it's an awesome experience. And how to cope with it. Step out of your comfort zone, just go out, speak in the local language of the community, Sakarik. Good morning, they love it. And also, just going out, play basketball with the kids. It's just sucking it up and also being proactive in my work. I just go to the health post and just interact and also work, you know, gotta make my own schedule. Just like, it's okay, stop being afraid, just go out and start talking and being proactive. So enjoy your Peace Corps experience. It's what you want to make out of it. Adios. Gabilo. Hi, I'm Wari. Oh, Lorena, aquí en Guatemala. I'm from Tucson, Arizona, but now I call a small rural indigenous village in the department of El Quiche in the Western Highlands of Guatemala home. I love my job. I don't just work in my community. I live there as well. Even though I've lived there for almost a year now, I'm still far, far from the norm. And being that my village is very isolated and exists without electricity, my novelness and the lack of entertainment in my community sometimes comes at the cost of my privacy. Kids climbing up on the bars of my windows to see what I'm doing day or night. Someone asking me how much my telephone costs, how much my shoes cost. Being a Peace Corps volunteer in a small rural village you lose your privacy. The way that I've dealt with that is going to visit other volunteers in bigger towns, getting a break from the 24-7 job that we have as Peace Corps volunteers, but also understanding that the loss of my privacy is a huge gain in another sense. I've become a part of a community. I have a Guatemalan family here and Realizing that is so much more worth it. I can't remember exactly what brought me to Peace Corps. I just know that I've always wanted to do this, but every day I find another reason why it's right that I'm here. Hello, my name is Myra. I'm originally from LA and I am now a Peace Corps volunteer, uh, which brings me to what I want to talk to you about today, food, Guatemalan food. Food was definitely one of the least things I was worried about uh, when I decided to join Peace Corps Guatemala. I figured I'm a Peace Corps, I'm a Latina, and uh, there shouldn't really be any differences between the food I ate back home and the food that I'm eating here in Guatemala. Well, I was a little wrong. Uh, one thing uh, that I learned is that carbs 
carbs. I specifically remember my very, very first meal with my host family. It was rice, pan francés, tortillas, and a bowl of soup, noodle soup. Every meal after that was pretty much the same, very little green or no green at all. I definitely was feeling heavier and heavier as the days passed by. But then I realized that it was during meal times that I really, really got to know my host family, especially my host mom. And they got to know me. So it was a challenge at the beginning, but poco a poco, I got used to the food. You get used to the food. And I started eating a little slower, but I wanted to keep the conversation going. Did not want to stop the conversation flow. And I started cooking a lot more with them, added a little bit more color to our meals. And yes, I did gain a little bit of weight, but it was at the kitchen table where I really fell in love with my host family. And I could just say that I now carry a little part of them with me everywhere I go. Hi, my name is Megan or Ava here in Guatemala. And I am a Peace Corps volunteer in a small community in rural Guatemala in the department of El Quiche. I am from a small town in northern Michigan, and now I have been placed in, I have the great fortune of being in this town, very similar in size here in Guatemala. A big transition for me has been adjusting to life in a small town again. And small town life in Guatemala is not the same as small town life in the United States. Here, small towns are incredibly, there's much more of a fishbowl type of feel. I, everything I do is seen, analyzed, questioned by everyone in the community. Those who know me well and those who don't know me so well. So when I'm walking around, when I'm out and about, anytime that I'm not locked in my house with the windows covered, I am on display. Everything that I do. And this can be something that can be very claustrophobic, it can be difficult to deal with, and you do deal with this loss of privacy. And being comfortable in a situation where it's a small town can be, can be difficult. But there's incredibly positive things to this. For instance, in my small town, when my site mate lost her dog, everyone started looking for it. The kids at school were all searching for this puppy. All of the, the moms at home were all talking to each other, looking for the dog, and the dog was found. But here in rural Guatemala, that is how it is. Everyone knows everything, but that also means that all these extra eyes are watching out for you and are helping you. And that makes it a lot more easy to deal with this loss of privacy. And my main way of coping was that, with this was to make sure that I was always on my best behavior and always presenting myself the best that I could. It's really important to think of cultural norms and how it's how what you're doing is seen. For example, it's always expected that you accept food. And if you don't accept food, it sometimes doesn't look so good in the Guatemalan context. And if you can manage to follow those pretty simple rules, as in being courteous, accepting food, things like that, you can have a really really great relationship with your community. You can only earn more and more trust or confianza with the community by, by integrating in this way.